Okay, anyway, because of the overlapping nature of these things that I've just been showing you, I tend to work from the lower levels to the upper levels. So, for example, the bubble is overlapping everything, so I'll draw that last. The nose overlaps the eyes, so I'll draw the nose after the eyes. The cheek overlaps the eyes, so I will draw the cheek after the eyes. I always use the uh, ellipse tool. And I'll get something that is in the ballpark, about the thickness that I want. And then I'll hit V and start to transform that eye. I can use the arrow keys to adjust things a little bit. And I'm going to use the pencil tool, which is N. And I'm going to bring this in a little bit. Now frequently I will copy that I and then paste it so that it has a lot of the same characteristics and then hit the V key and drag it over and start transforming that. I want these eyes to overlap. One thing I could do is I can put these eyeballs on a separate layer. So I can press Command V, select both of the eyes, go over to the layers, hit New Layer, type in Eyes, press OK. And then now that this layer is selected, I'm going to right click on these and go to Arrange and then send to current layer. That, that sent it to a separate layer. So I'm now going to work on the pupils. I can't draw on this because it's invisible. So you'll see right now it won't let me draw. So go back to the inking layer. So I will hit V. I will tilt it a little bit. Squish it a little bit. And I will press Command C and then Command V to get the shape of the pupil. So I'm going to bring this pupil in there. So now this pupil is going to have the same basic shape and angle as the iris. Group them. So group. And then I'm going to hit Command C and to copy. Command V to paste. I'm going to bring this one over here. And I'm going to click it and go to Transform. And hit Reflect reflect vertical and it kind of flops it basically rotate it a little bit stretch it out shrink it down move this all right so those pupils seem like they're done the pupils go on top of the eyes so I'm going to press this and then select the eye level and then actually I'm just going to select another level just to make it easier Call these pupils and right click on them and say send to current layer. So now the pupils are locked and they are on top of the eyeballs. If I go to the eyeballs now, I'm going to select, I'm going to unlock it and select this eyeball, fill it with white, dink, go to the pupil layer, V, select this, click it, hit ungroup, select that, and fill it with black. 